Rounding to the nearest tenth is a method for making long decimals easier to deal with. To do it, write down a number that includes a decimal, such as 7.82. Then locate the tenths place, which is the first place after the decimal point. In this case, the number 8 is in the tenths place. Next, look at the number in the hundredths place, which is just to the right of the tenths place. If it's equal to or greater than 5, round up the number in the tenths place and drop the number in the hundredths place. For instance, 1.65 would round up to 1.7. If it's less than 5, round down and keep the number in the tenths place the same. In our example of 7.82, you would round down to 7.8. Similarly, if there's no number after the tenths place, you don't have to do anything. Just leave the number in the tenths place the same. While rounding to the tenths place is usually pretty simple, there are a couple of special situations to keep in mind. For instance, if there's a 9 in the tenths place and a number greater than or equal to 5 in the hundredths place, you'll need to round up the number in the ones place to the left of the decimal point and change the number in the tenths place to zero. So if you're rounding up the number 12.981, you'd round up to 13.0. If you're working with a negative number, rounding works the same way as with a positive number. However, be aware that when you round up a negative number, you're actually making the number smaller or moving it further to the left of zero on the number line. But the magnitude of the number will still increase, just like when you round up a positive number. So for example, you'd still round negative 18.76 to negative 18.8. But keep in mind that negative 18.8 is less than negative 18.76.